Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Mark. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, Andrew. I'm very well. And yourself? Yeah, I'm I'm not too bad. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good, to, good to team up. Have you got yourself a nice drink? Got yourself cosy? I have, yeah. yeah. I've got you a have? nice glass of uh, Primitivo. Mmm. Yeah. Very nice. I'm, in I'm on the... Uh, the hand sanitizer. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Does this American guy swears by it for uh, anti <laughs> antiviral properties? So I'll give it a try. It's, um, it's better than some wine I've drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so we've decided, folks, to do a regular podcast in video form. Monday lunchtime. Uh, obviously, uh, time zones allowing. So it's going to be one p.m. In Germany, 12 midday in the UK, and you, well, you'll have to work the rest out for yourself if you're somewhere else. And plus, we will alternate between English and Deutsch. We found it uh, when we were trying to, uh, on the last Q&A, trying to translate and then do things, and we found it took too long. So uh, if you're watching us from Germany, don't worry, we'll do uh, alternate ones in German and in English, just to keep it yeah. uh, so one one week one way, the other Woche the other week. Yeah, forward. <laughs> and anyone's allowed to tune in, so you can watch us speak German and just think, what are they saying? Yeah, and if you're watching yeah. us from Portugal, I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, we we should learn some learn some languages. So uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to pick a subject every um, every week and talk about it and. Uh, well, you're welcome to leave some questions and we'll uh, answer them uh, we'll right back to you if we can. And um, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we don't have any questions yet uh, from you because you didn't know this was going to happen. Uh, but so but we'll we'll follow up your subjects in the future. Uh, but we've got some questions for each other. Like what are we going to talk about, Mark? <laughs> well, the first thing we're going to talk about is if you did see our live broadcast, you are probably wondering how uh, we both managed to duplicate ourselves into cloned twins and play different instruments like the drums and the bass, uh, and just how we how we put that whole thing together for um, um, for for health reasons and for the current situation we haven't been able to meet up so we had to get inventive and uh, think of a way to to uh yeah to to get a concert of us playing together without being able to play together and it was quite strange <laughs> <laughs> we we did it surprise surprise uh, in the modern world with mobile phones we both hey. used our mobile phones <laughs> Thank I don't you, know Steve. how you. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Mark, but I found a microphone clamp that I could wedge my mobile phone into. So it was on a microphone stand and it just wedged in. And as I was playing, it would drop and look like it was going to fall on the floor. I have to start, <laughs> stop, and start again, and it drives you mad. Uh, I don't funnily, know you... funnily enough, I had the same problem, but I yeah. used one of my children to hold the mobile phone and I had a very similar problem that every now and again it would drop and it would slip and I'd have to pick it up again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we had this, the similar problems. That's that's maybe one to look at for the future. Uh, I think there might be holders for these things. <laughs> I've been trying to get a camera to work, but that's even harder. Um, I just assumed you could get the right cable, plug a camera into a computer and it would record. But no, no, it's not that simple. That's the myth of technology. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not simple. So, um, yeah, so we we uh, we talked about it beforehand. Not something we always do when we approach doing something new. <laughs> and uh, decided what songs we were going to do. And then just between us decided, well, you, you record that one because uh, you hold that song together. I'll record this one. I hold that song together. And we sent each other these recordings and uh, set up the camera on our special little holdy things, listen to the sound, and then try to play along. Yeah, it's very different, up, isn't it? We set up we set up microphones and recorded the sound separately because we wanted to. One of the things that I thought 
about watching some of the kind of like the the live streams and sometimes that the the sound quality did tend to suffer sometimes if it's going through a, a mobile phone um microphone so we recorded uh we've both got uh um home studios and so we recorded um with microphones and then Andrew uh, mixed the sound later. So we, we hope you picked up on, uh, on, on that, that it was a, a good quality sound. So yeah, it was quite a, quite a long uh, process as well because yeah, we had to get, had to get it right. And uh, in a live situation uh, you can, uh, make all the mistakes <laughs> <laughs> and people don't notice <laughs> and people yeah. just don't notice but yeah. with this uh, you go back yeah we don't make that many mistakes do we Andrew <laughs> I don't think we ever have have, have you ever made a mistake <laughs> I haven't <laughs> yeah well the, the thing is it's it's strange because if you play it together anyone who's a musician will know this if you play it together with another person in a live situation um, you listen to each other, or you should be. If you're not, you should be <laughs> listening I to each other. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how many drinks you've had, I suppose. But but you're listening to each other and adjusting to each other, and uh, and that's missing. If you if you're playing to a recording, that's happened. That person can't hear you, so you've just got to kind of go with what you've been sent, and that was that's what made it different. And so there was a couple of songs where we had to re-record them just because they did. Just they come were out awful. in a different way. <laughs> yeah, <they're> just terrible. <laughs> or maybe they were better, you know. <laughs> maybe they're just so t yeah. But it, it just um that was a bit of a learning a learning process. Yeah, it was is kind of a, like is this a message that you're sending me here on your arm there, Mark? Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. My mom, my mom loves it. It's my mom's favourite tattoo. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure, she loves it. Um, one of the one of the challenges was was to kind of uh, to kind of put put a gig feel across as well. You know, um, not playing in front of an audience. To so try to imagine yourself playing in front of an audience, and uh, you know, with it being quite stressful as well. And sometimes, you know, re recording it by yourself, so you'd have to run to the computer, press record, set yourself up. <laughs> Sit back down in the chair. <laughs> then you'll have forgotten that you've you've not got your headphones in. You'd get up, get your headphones, and then press record again. And then you'd forgotten to press record on the phone, and you'd run back. And it was quite, yeah, it was quite, quite, quite a long process. By by which time the memory is full on your phone, so you have to then <laughs> dismantle the whole thing, delete everything on your phone, and start again. Yeah, I'm glad you had the same problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you have to delete all the swearing. <laughs> yeah. Did we? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. I hope we did. Um, yeah, but I still, I still, I, I try to imagine myself. I don't know about you, Andrew, but I, I try to manage myself, uh, imagine myself in uh, in a gig situation, and I did kind of feel like that, even though there was no immediate feedback. Um, you know, I tried to perform to to an audience, but well, yeah. I, I did have an audience actually. I had, I had a our dog. Uh, well, Till's new dog just kind of sat on the floor <laughs> looking up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's good. To have it. Yeah, I suppose we've 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 done we've done TV and radio uh, over the years again and again, and it's the same kind of thing of just learning to imagine the people at home, and uh, I suppose that's how. And we've done enough gigs, and you can't always see the audience when you're on a stage with the light shining in your eyes. You know they're there. It's just the lack of applause at the end is a bit weird because obviously, you know, we're used to getting lots of applause at the end of songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's a, it was a bit strange not to have that at the end. That was the only difference, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was enjoyable and I enjoyed watching it back as well. And it was nice to do the, even, yeah, so on the encore, uh, we, we both play, uh, uh, we're both multi-instrumentalists. Uh, I play the drums and yeah, and Andrew played bass on a track and that that was really good fun putting that together. Again, it was quite difficult to uh, uh, musically to play it to play it uh, well to nothing, <laughs> no guide. But uh, that was really yeah. enjoyable. Yeah, it's like having an orchestra without a conductor. It's just totally floating out in nothing. Maybe. Well, we've got some ideas about how to improve that in the future. I think, I think um, we got to a, um, 
a, a good result, but it maybe next time we'll get there quicker <laughs> without, <Hopefully>. going as, <laughs> without going as crazy. It took us two weeks to do the, yeah. to do the whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it was certainly worthwhile and uh, we're, we've already got ideas for the next one. And we've got ideas for a, um, a song video as well, like a single song uh, uh, with some, some other musicians. How much, how much should we tell people about that? Probably not too much yet. Uh, well, yeah, because they haven't actually agreed to do it yet. So. <laughs> It'd be pretty embarrassing if we got it would, yeah, yeah. It and they just go, no, I'm not playing with you guys, which is very possible. Yeah, yeah, that's what people <laughs> usually say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you might have seen that with other bands that have friends, that they have done um, collaborations with other musicians. Yeah. Um, we're still trying to do that. We're still trying to make friends with someone. Um, we're, stri- we're still trying to make <laughs> friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's just not working, is it? So. <laughs> uh, it's a funny, you know, it was funny for me because it, in the beginning I was, uh, um, I was horrified at the prospect of everything uh, uh, being online and uh, everything having to go through Facebook and uh, Instagram and uh I was quite daunted by the fact, just the idea of it, you know, and uh, not being able to play. But I, I have to, you know, my, my opinions changed because it is uh, kind of like, you know, it's, it's saved, saved everybody's bacon really, and given yeah. us the opportunity to do, to, 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 to do that at least. If we didn't have that outlet, then it would be a pretty sad state of affairs. Yeah. And it does feel if you're there in the comment section i mean the way the way we had to do it because we couldn't play it together we had to pre-record you cannot you can do live streams live but the sound quality is just not as good because the internet does something to it no matter how good your microphones are but um but if you're there in the comments section and you're there it's the well certainly the first time i've ever seen a broom besoms gig that was a weird experience to start with but you get yeah. feedback from the audience so all you guys were there giving us feedback to the songs and it's kind of almost has that feeling uh, of people being there it felt very interactive it felt yeah. very very interactive i didn't feel like i was sitting in my kitchen talking to myself <laughs> <laughs> no which i do no. quite a lot incidentally but uh <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> uh, it did feel very interactive and it did feel, and it was really nice kind of to see names pop up and, you know, we recognize a lot of people and that was, that, that was great. I, re- I really enjoyed it. The end yeah, result, yeah. the end result at least. So it, we're going to try and get this to be a regular thing, Monday lunch times, where obviously maybe we can get a little bit of music involved in it as well. And once yeah. we get once we get back on the road, we can obviously, if we're on tour, we can do it live together in the car or something like that and uh, on location. So this is something we want to get into a regular thing, get your feedback and just to be able to connect to people. At the moment, it's just uh, any excuse to connect with people out there, you know, <laughs> talk to us. Be... <laughs> Give us so a we don't have to talk to it. Yeah. yeah. yeah well. <laughs> so we don't have to be like on our own all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, great. So it's, I think it's every every Monday, every Monday afternoon, one yeah. p.m. German time, which makes it twelve p.m. UK, UK yeah. time. Yeah. So send us if there's anything you want us to talk about. We'll think of some things as well, obviously. So the next one's going to be in German. Yeah. Uh, this next is in Deutsch, and the one after that's in English again. So uh, we, we'll get and you'll get one in your language as long as you speak english or german uh, every yeah. two weeks <laughs> and i love daytime drinking as well so it yeah, gives me yeah, an opportunity yeah. to, to crack a bottle of wine midday get me get, yeah. take the edge off the day yeah you get Cheers, your hands <laughs> <laughs> all right folks thanks for tuning in and uh take care of yourselves take care of yourself mark you same same same, <laughs> Cheers. same mask. yeah and we'll see you all we'll see you all next week All right. Bis dann. Bye-bye. Bye.